Welcome. In front of me is a Xiaomi Poco X5, and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now, as you can see, the phone I have right here is locked. It's telling me to draw the pattern to, well, unlock it. Uh, that's one of the ways, and the other one would be using the Google account. But assuming I don't know either of those, I'm going to show you how you can completely get rid of it without providing any information. Now, for this process, we will be needing two things. Number one will be a SIM card. Any kind of SIM card will do, uh, as long as it has a pin on it. Uh, now, the SIM card doesn't even need to be like functional, as in it doesn't need to connect to any cellular network. It could be kind of a dead SIM card. It will still require a pin when you put it in, uh, but that's really all we need it for. So that uh, there we go. And another thing that we need is a internet connection. So just quickly going into it, um, I have already connected to network, but I'm gonna just backtrack just so I can show you. There we go. As you can see, I am connected. So that's one. And from there, all we need to do is insert our SIM. So do so right now. Once you put in the SIM card that has a pin on it, it will lock the device like this and tell you to insert a pin for that SIM card. Once you see this, simply take it out. This will keep the device locked. Whoops. It will keep that device locked, as you can see. And from here, what you want to do is swipe down for your notifications. Click on this bell icon with a gear then select up notifications, scroll all the way down to YouTube, then scroll down again to additional settings in the app, about, and help. Now in the help section, you're gonna search for delete, disable, and manage unused apps on Android. So it comes up as a suggested, you don't even need to type in the entire thing. And once it opens up, you want to select on the first link right here at the step one top to go to application settings and select more and choose show system. So this will add also system processes that are running in the background, which is something that, that we will need. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to start off by selecting Android setup. So right over here and we're going to select for stop and OK. So we have turned off Android setup. Now we're gonna go back like this and we're gonna scroll down to Google Play Services. There we go, Google Play Services right here. I'm gonna select it and here we're gonna select disable, disable up and for stop. There we go. Then we're gonna go back once again and we're gonna scroll down even lower to settings and we're we have two different settings as you can see uh, I'm gonna start off with the top one so settings and that's the one that we need uh, if you open up the wrong one it just won't have the open option right here so obviously just go back and select the other setting uh, icon and the other one should have the open button once you press on it obviously it will take you to settings themselves and in here we're gonna scroll down to additional settings right here then we're gonna scroll down again to accessibility and we want to enable the accessibility menu toggle it on allow it tells us that it adds this little thing right here okay and that's all we need to do in the settings so once we have added this in we will let me just quickly make sure. So we should be able to just back out, back to the... Nope, that doesn't really work. So we're just gonna reboot the device. Because we don't have the back button, as you can see, to back out to the beginning of the setup. So we just need to reboot it now. So let's select that. Boom, reboot. 
And once the device boots back up, uh, we can then continue our bypass. Okay, so as you can see, we are now back in the setup. And from here, we will progress through it, as you would probably expect. And we should get to, I think, page after this. So we should see the don't copy option right here, if I'm correct. I just give it a couple minutes. Yep, so there we go. So I'm gonna select don't copy and that's where our next part of the bypass comes in. So because we have turned off our Google Play services, we will be stuck on this page. As you can see, it's che checking for updates, then just a second it goes back to checking for updates because it cannot connect to the servers of Google to verify if this device is locked or not. So next thing we're gonna do is tap on this accessibility menu button. We're gonna select Google Assistant, which nothing happened at this point. Uh, now, I'll before I actually start doing this like full on, I'm gonna mention that you might need to repeat this process uh, several times. So it might take you, I don't know, anything from like one try to 20, 30, 50 tries, depending on how lucky or unlucky you might be. Uh, so we're just gonna keep on repeating pressing of these buttons. We're looking for a settings button to appear right here, which I just did, but I'm gonna press on it. But once you navigate into these settings, you'll be in the same page that would normally tell you to, well, where we disable the Google Play services. And what we want to do is simply enable them. It did enable, as you can see right here. So we're good to go. Uh, as you can see, it took me about, I don't know, 10 tries, maybe a little bit less. So that's what you want to do. Keep on repeating it till you enable it. Once you do, you wanna go back once. This is crucial, just go back once. And from here, as you can see, it will then go back to checking for updates and then it just completely kind of goes to the next page without needing or without forcing you to verify anything. So this is the next page where you just have the Google services. You can do whatever you want. Now, at this moment, I recommend just going through the setup in whatever way is the quickest. So don't set up anything like specific here. The device is still locked. So whatever you set up right now, it won't really matter because we still need to perform a factory reset of the device, which, like I mentioned, would be kind of redundant to set it up if we're gonna then reset it anyway. So in a second, we'll have access to our home screen. Now, I'll mention this right now. I'm not going to go through a, <clears throat> a reset of this device on video just because it honestly provides uh, no additional like content. Once you select the reset option, uh, it just kind of screen goes black, it does the reset and then you're back in the setup. So I don't really think people will have much use for it, but if you really want to see this just playing out all the way, I'll be recording just a simple reset through settings in the next video as a separate one. Um, it will not be related to this one, but it will be literally recorded right after it. So if you are really interested into checking it out that it worked uh, fully, you can check that video out. Uh, but I'm just gonna quickly show you where to find the settings that you're looking for. So let's start off by opening up our settings application. And you're gonna scroll down, I think scroll down. Oh, we're actually gonna select right here, the about phone. And we're gonna select factory reset erase all data, factory reset, and then you need to wait 10 seconds here and 10 seconds on the next page. So you, after 10 seconds, you can select next. And then after another 10 seconds, you'll click on OK, and this will then begin factory resetting uh, your device. This is a crucial last step. Just like I said, the device is still locked. It still has the uh, data of the old account and screen lock. So by performing a factory reset of the device through settings, Android just completely gets rid of this 
data and then the device becomes fully unlocked. So that is the last step that you need to take. Just click on that and you're basically done. Now, with this being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.